In 1905, a new discovery changed the world's perception of the origins of this Semitic alphabet. Flinders Petrie, a renowned Egyptologist and pioneer in modern archaeology, discovered inscriptions of previously unknown symbols at Serabit el Khadim in the Sinai Peninsula. Dr. Alan Gardner, another renowned Egyptologist, studied these inscriptions with detail. He discovered that these Sinaitic inscriptions consisted of a total of 32 symbols. Because of the limited number of symbols, Dr. Gardner determined that this was an alphabet. Gardner was then able to easily identify the Sinaitic alphabet as Semitic because of the pictographic nature of this alphabet. The name of each Semitic or Hebrew letter is a Hebrew word with meaning. The first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is called the Aleph, which is a word that means ox. The tenth letter is called the Yud, or Yad, meaning hand. And the sixteenth letter is the Ayin, a word meaning I. Dr. Gardner found that the letters in these ancient Sinaitic inscriptions were pictures of the very names of the Hebrew letters. The image of an ox head was the letter Aleph, the image of a hand was the letter Yad, and the image of an eye was the letter Ayin. This relationship between the pictograph and the names of the Semitic letters Dr. Gardner proposed proved that this was the precursor to the previously known Phoenician Old Hebrew alphabet. Once it was determined that the new script was Semitic, Dr. Gardner in 1916 was able to translate a portion of one inscription. This inscription includes the Hebrew letters Lamed, Bet, Ayin, Lamed, and Tav, the Semitic word Lebaat, meaning to the lady. In 1999, John and Deborah Darnell were surveying ancient travel routes in the deserts of southern Egypt when they came upon another set of inscriptions very similar to the Sinaitic inscriptions found by Petri.